Greetings, Tubadors. Been quite a while since the last video, since, uh, as many of you will already know, I've been sort of decorating and refurbishing the house. And uh, compared to the background of some of the previous videos, I hope you'd agree, it's looking a little bit smarter, thanks to the interior design skills of my lovely wife. But now that's out of the way, uh, let's get back to doing what I like to do best, which is essentially laughing at flat earthers and other assorted idiots. So what have we got this time? Well, this idiot, this self-satisfied, super simpering and intolerably smug individual. Um, now, his channel goes by the name of Just Saying. A um, bit more about that later. Now, I can't remember how I came across this individual's channel. Um, probably on some, you know, late night random rabbit hole clicking through YouTube. Um, but I can tell you that it was bloody hard work going through that channel. Um, every one of his videos is, you know, a 45 minute stream of consciousness that is constantly jumping from one topic to another. And all the while, he just has this general air of, um, oh, I'm so right about everything. Uh, anyone who disagrees with me is obviously retarded. Simper, simper, simper. Desperately annoying. Um, he does actually remind me of someone. Um, I, I can't quite put my finger on it who it is. It'll, it will come to me. Anyhow, it appears that um, this... Uh, just saying is, is a relatively new channel that has actually replaced one that was taken down by, I presume, YouTube, um, causing Captain Charisma here to lose about, I think, uh, 140 odd videos, uh, which I'm sure if you go and have a look at his channel, you will agree must be some devastating loss to humankind. Now, the possible reasons for this deletion will become apparent before the end of this video, trust me. Now, I chose one of his, his videos at random. Um, there were about six of them on there when I came across the channel, but I have got no doubt that there'll be a whole lot more there now since I've had this video, I've been sitting on it probably for about a month, um, and he appears to upload at the least once a day. Um, and this is the only one that I've watched from beginning to end. Uh, but if the contents of this one are anything to compare his other works to, then the guy is not only dimmer than a five watt bulb, um, he's also super racist and has a massively high opinion of himself. So let's try dive straight in to the wonderful world that is just saying. Well, good evening, folks. I hope you're well. Oops, a daisy. Awesome. He is something of a klutz from the get-go. Yes. Um, I was always into the flat earth. Of course I was. Um, anybody with a, a brain cell that's in full functioning mode um, will normally decide when they do their own due diligence that we live on a flat earth. Of course we do. Anyone with a brain cell in full functioning mode, mm. brain cell singular, speak for yourself, dunce nugget. Being a flat earther, of course, you, you get bombarded with sarcasm from those who think they know better. Yes, <laughs> bless their little hearts. Eh? None so stupid as those who don't want to see. No, me old China. There are none so stupid as those who haven't got the faintest clue as to what it is they're talking about, but continue to talk about it anyway. There used to be a saying, convince them against their will and they will be of the same opinion still. I'm not in the market to convince anybody, quite frankly. It's their fault they're thick. And boom, there it is. The perfect example of the psychological phenomenon, inadequacy projection. This guy obviously has just about enough reasoning potential to realize that he doesn't possess sufficient mental acuity to process the data that proves beyond all doubt that the earth is 
a spinning sphere within a heliocentric planetary system. So he tries to project his inadequacies onto those of us that do understand it uh, in order to try and make himself feel a little bit better about his obvious inferiority. Now, it's at this point that he starts to roll out the mind-bendingly tedious tropes that we've all come across a thousand times, including this incredibly stale offering. But as a flat earther, you do get bombarded and some smart asses write little notes. So I thought I'd, I'd answer a couple. Um, how do you account if the moon and uh, stars are whizzing around? And how do you account for the tides then? Ne 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 ne. Hmm, how do you account for the tides then? That is the most remedial stock question asked by the least capable of these dunning cruder bottom feeders as anyone with even the most basic knowledge of any of the earth sciences knows why we have tides but apparently not professor brain cell um this guy is still reminding me of somebody now it, it, it'll come back to me now anyway not satisfied with rehashing the the, the flat ad staple explain the tides he pulls out the most predictable subset to that argument. I used to also be puzzled about this, how it is that if it was the moon, you see, has this effect on water, how come it doesn't affect the Great Lakes? It does, you puffed up moron. Lake Superior, the largest freshwater lake on the planet, has a tidal reach under the influence of the moon of about five centimetres. Now, that obviously doesn't compare anything like the tides of the oceans, but there's a reason for this, you see. Lake Superior might be the largest freshwater lake on the planet, but the volume of water it contains is absolutely minuscule in comparison to the mass of the Earth's oceans, which the gravitational force of the Moon acts upon. And... What then, Mr. Just Saying, is your learned expostulation upon why the moon cannot exert an influence on the world's oceans? Well, what causes the tides first? It's certainly not the moon. It is not the moon. The moon is too small for a start to have any influence on the sheer 75-80% of the water mass that's on the Earth. So that was that little topic knocked on the head then, shall we? We'll just accept that. It's a logical reasoning. It beats the hell out of this little landmass called the Moon, which is about 35 miles in diameter, by the way. 35 miles. What an absolute cockwomble. This is another classic example of the sort of tosh these ingrate window lickers come up with um they just they just make shit up and they have no basis for their mindless goose todd no data no no ideas as, as to what's actually going on in the physical universe and seem to think that if they literally just make something up that is a good enough explanation no data no intelligence required and no thought required um when I took my physics exams, it would have been a lot easier if I could have just sat there making shit up. But that, I'm afraid, is not the way the real world works. Um, and while we're all just making shit up, perhaps, Mr. Pluck some nonsense out of thin air, you could enlighten us as to what does then actually cause the tides if it's not the moon and the sun. What causes the tides twice a day to come in and go out and talk. well you know we know that Gaia the mother earth that we're living upon who's to say that she's not breathing how about every person on the planet with a GCSE or higher qualification in one of the physical sciences this space cadet would believe that you can you can cure cancer with a Mars bar if he saw a video about it on YouTube. He really would. So, come on then, fantasy boy. What does cause the Earth's oceans to rise and fall 
if it's not the gravitational force of the other bodies within our solar system. The super saline level twice a day raised, comes up and goes down and comes up and goes down twice a day. Twice a day, exactly the same number of times the Earth passes through the bulges of water caused by the gravitational influence of the Moon upon the said oceans. It's so damned obvious to everyone else, yet Dr. Dimwit can't even see the painfully obvious correlation. What was it that he said earlier? None so stupid as those who don't want to see. Exactly, my remedial friend. You don't see it because you don't want to see it. And if you try to face up to it, you'd only prove to yourself that you don't possess the intelligence to understand the physical nature of the world around you. Anyway, that is the sort of thing you can expect from this crystal pixie on advanced earth science. Um, and if you want to go and have a look at his channel and hopefully let him know exactly what you think of his uh, insipid and baseless outpourings, um, remember I said his channel is called Just Saying. That I think there are a couple of channels called Just Saying or variations thereof, you know, Just Saying, just saying, saying, well, just, uh, have a look for it. It'll turn up. I'll actually put a link to it down below just so you can go and laugh at his inane idiocy. Um, in fact, calling his channel Just Saying, I think is actually quite fitting because that's all he's doing is just saying, not proving. But before we go, this is going to be one of my shorter videos. I am, I, can, I keep promising to make these videos shorter. And I am trying to make them shorter, trust me, but I'm Welsh, so I like to talk and I do go on a bit. Um, but before we, we do draw an end here, there is something else that you need to know about this obtuse particle of idiocy. Now, you remember right at the beginning that I said uh, one of the things that becomes obvious about watching his videos is that he is super racist. But he's also, according to him, very and a very empathetic individual. Um, so this from the horse's mouth. You're looking at somebody who has a massive, well, you're looking and listening, hopefully, looking and listening to somebody who has a massive level of empathy. I know, call me old fashioned, oh, shucks, but I do, I do have a lot of empathy. I'm a great, I'm very empathetic, as they say. I have always been empathetic. And how far does the depth of your empathy go? I despise people who lack empathy. I think I'm a big, personally, a big believer in the death sentence. Oh, that's nice. Anybody whom he deems to be unempathetic should be executed. Well, should we hear what he has to say about, um, oh the emergence of dynastic houses uh, within the Arabic world? I'm sorry, but at the time of Lawrence of Arabia, Saudi Arabia and Syria and all the others, they were not ever kingdoms. There was no kings. There were tribes. These are, are sandwogs. Excuse me? Sandwogs. But now, you see, if you go to Saudi Arabia and Dubai and, and the other places, oh, where did the royal families suddenly come from? Who made them the royals? I'm your king. Well, I didn't vote for you. What possible right does a bunch of sandwogs suddenly become a royal family? Wow, no wonder your last channel was taken down if that is the sort of thing that you're expounding upon to the world. Um, how about Muslims? Mr. Diptard got an opinion on the Muslims? These are the people that I'd like to put in stocks and poke incessantly with a sharp stick when I've got nothing better to do. Yes. I'd like to pour molten lead down their throats, quite frankly. But I can fantasise. It's my fantasy. 
and a good week in the stocks should sort them out. Oh, if I ruled the world. If people like him ruled the world, we would still be shooting arrows at each other, pissing at our loincloths every time there was an eclipse, and burying gooseberries under oak trees uh, to stop the Tulloith Teg from turning our milk sour. Um, I think that's just about all I can take from this pork chop, so, um, so I'll call it a night. Um, but do go and have a look at his channel. I do warn you, he does r skip from topic to topic. The man is just a stream of consciousness. Um, some of it's amusing, some of it is boring, some of it is utterly insane. Um, but we will draw a line. It's getting a bit late here, so, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I am going to make f a far bigger effort now to post more regularly. Now that the vast majority of the work within the house is done, I should be able to post at least once a week. I haven't decided which day I'm going to try and regularly post on yet, but things will become apparent. Um, if you're already subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. If it wasn't for people like you, then there'd be no point in me doing this. If you're not subscribed, please do consider giving the uh, subscribe button, you know, a little tickle and click the bell notification so YouTube can send you an email telling you that some hairy Welsh bloke has just uploaded another video. So once again, thank you for watching folks. Please be nice to each other. And until next time, Hoyle Vaur. I am one of the stately homos of England. <laughs>